This is a quick video over polymerization mechanisms. So the general idea is that you have a monomer, some monomer, and that monomer will react with another monomer to make a polymer. Now that polymer consists of just those two monomers connected together. And then we'll continue on adding more monomers to it to make our polymer, where poly just means many monomers, so poly equals many, many, and mono, mono means one, means one. So when you have a monomer, you have only one monomer. When you have a polymer, you have multiple monomers <laughs> connected together. That's, that's a really bad idea, but you, I mean, monomer is just one unit, a polymer is many units. So how does this reaction occur? Well, there's actually many steps to it, and I'd like to call them the IPCT. The IPCT. Now, the I stands for initiation. 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 And so what, what is the initiation? Well, that means we have an initiator, and that initiator will actually react by itself. Usually you might have to raise the temperature a little bit, but it will react by itself with some kinetic constant KD, where KD means the disassociation constant. So now we'll have two radicals. Two radicals, and this little dot means it's a radical. Now this radical, or one of the radicals, can react with a monomer. And what we get is now a monomer that is now a radical. So we get KI. And I think Ki is the initiation constant. So now we have a radical monomer, or a monomer that is a radical. So that monomer can now react with another monomer. So now we have that monomer plus another monomer that is not a radical reacting together at Kp, where Kp is the propagation. So this is actually propagation. So now we have the monomer reactor reacting with another monomer to make um, make just two monomers connected together. That is still a radical. Now this can react with another monomer, and we can have the kinetic constant Kp. And now we have three monomers connected together, still being a radical, and again that can react again. So we have this propagation going through. And usually what we'll end up with is monomer N radical. And again, that's Kp. Now the big thing to assume, or that most people assume, is that this Kp, which is just one monomer radi radical reacting with another monomer, is the same as this Kp, which is two monomer, a two monomer polymer reacting with another monomer. Then finally you have this one where you have three monomer, monomer polymer reacting with another monomer. We assume that all these are the same. So that's a really big thing. We just assume that they are Kp. So that's how we have propagation. Now another interesting thing is chain transfer. Chain transfer. Chain, <laughs> chain transfer. Transfer. So that's where we have our polymer radical react with a transfer agent. And what we do is basically that transfer agent takes away the radical. So basically what we have is KCT transfer agent goes to, well the reaction occurs where we have now just the monomer polymer with n, the polymer with n monomers in it plus T radical. So that's chain transfer and of course it can always go backwards too. I mean there's some type of equilibrium in there. It's not just always one way. It can go back go backwards too, but not very often. So finally we have our T, and that is termination. Termination. And that's when we have two monomers, two polymers with n monomers in them that are both radicals. So actually I, I lied. We have this, pol this polymer with n monomers in it, and this polymer with m monomers in it. Now they can react two different ways. 
they can react where they just neutralize each other. And what we call that is KTD, or the kinetic constant is KTD, termination by disproportionation, where we get monomer N plus monomer M. They just took away each other's radical. And that is disproportionation. Asian. That's one way you can have termination. Another way is they can combine, where now you have monomer, or sorry, polymer N plus M. And what we call this is combination. So these are the general mechanisms for polymerization. The really big things you need to focus in on is initiation, propagation, and termination. Chain transfer isn't always going to occur, but it may, and that might be a little sidestep. But make sure you know initiation, propagation, and termination.